Hi and welcome to Calculator Tutorial developed using Pascal programming language in Delphin. So let me show you guys how this works. So I'm going to first of all demonstrate how the backspace works there. And let's assume we say 78 multiplied by 9. No, we don't want to multiply by 9. So get rid of the 9, multiply that by 2 and there we go right and let's assume is plus minus and we multiply that by 4 there clear out your whole system and let's enter another value 72 multiplied by 5 divide by 8 plus there so what I am going to do now is I will take you guys straight into Delphine development environment and we put one of these new tutorials together. So let's do that now, guys. So exit out and we we'll start a new project entirely. Okay, I'm going to go to file, select file new, and I'm going to just select window VCL application. Save whatever changes here. Yes, go ahead and save that. There we go. We have new system. So I'm going to start by just extending the form that much. Okay, I'm now going to add buttons. Let me, let me come in here. You see where we have the palette? Drop that down and let's click on add additional. So in here, I need first of all, let me go for T edit. T edit is like the text box. Click and just drop in there there that is my text box there and just drag it that much i also need a button so it's actually called t button here click on that drop it right there okay let's change the details of this very button so let's come into the width right here now i'm going to make that approximately 105 and the height i'm going to make that about 70 or 97 right now the fonts let's see that the font change the font to something readable i'm gonna make that about let's say 28 that's fine and get rid of whatever text content i have in there let's come in we need a caption right so the caption for this i'm gonna make that about oh first to four let's get rid of it and just change the interface first all right, I might as well just copy, Control C, Control V, paste that, select both, Control C, Control V. Now, my buttons are coming up, select it all, Control C, paste. Now select both, Control C, Control V, and I'm gonna need just one lot more, just one line more select that control c control v there we go now let's look for the fonts fonts for everything here i'm going to change the whole font for everybody that's going to be 28 for every single button in there now select the text with the text i'm going to get rid of the text content i have in there change that to zero and we now need to get it aligned now to get it aligned we need okay i think is the align yeah there we go somewhere here yeah let's see there we go that's it justify right now this very one here i'm going to change this one to c e let's see this will be seven eight nine the plus sign subtract that will be six five four one two three multiplication division bring down and let's change this to and here decimal and we have a zero here now these two i'm going to need the i'm going to need the word document for those two so let's open up word document click on that to get it opened okay now that word document is open click on insert 
and I'm going to come in here. You see where we have the symbol? Click on the symbol. The two symbols that I need is this very one, the backspace one, which you will get inside winging. And I will also need a plus minus as well. There. So I'm going to minimize that. Grab the backspace one and come right back here. Click on my project on, on the form and go straight to the caption of the form paste that in there you can see it as a big dot but well, that's no problem all we then need to do is to go straight to the font and let's change the font to winging and there we go that is it right there click on ok and there, there we go so we need the plus minus as well grab the plus minus in the case of the pl plus minus i don't think you need to change the font type because uh, I think that font has the same thing there that is it that's taken care of so that's fine so what I'm going to do now is to give the every single components in here I just need to give them a variable name so let's come in here look for name right there instead of edit one I'm going to change that to txt in lowercase txt result there and this very one I'm going to call it btn bs backspace the next one is btn c e btn c btn plus minus btn 7 btn8 btn9 and so on and btn plus there and i'll just speed that up okay all done so what we need to do now is to double click on the buttons and start coding so the very first one i've just double click on is button 7 so the button 7 i'm going to enter as follows using an if statement if txt result dot text and if that is equals zero the zero that i have in there i'm now referring to it so in that case we don't want txt result we want it to change the value that would be seven. So we'll change this to seven. Right there. If you notice here, I had to enter a column, and in here there's no column in there because this has a value. This does not have. So this I'm assigning. This is operation operator assign statement that I have in here. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna use an now let's use else. I mean, I'm going to use else. Txt results equals. We need a sign equals with the semicolon equals txt plus seven. So change this one to plus seven. And there, and right here, I'm going to enter semicolon to finish up my statement. So that takes care of the very first statement there. The very first if statement. Before I try, I'm going to try it out, but before I do that, let me declare two variables in here. You see here where we have the private, I'm going to come right down here and just, let's declare, I'm going to say num1, comma, num2, comma, and I'm going to say result enter column to end my variable declaration and this variable is going to be string enter semicolon now I'm going to, I'm going to also declare another one that is going to be operator or operate that's fine and that is going to be char there so my four variables are declared so let's run it and see how the number seven works anyway 
Okay, first thing first, let's before we run it, let's save this project first. Go straight to file and let's say files. Then I'm going to just navigate to where I intend to save my work. Right, let's create a new folder in there. Just call that Delphi Calculator. Double click on that and right in here I have the unit. I'll save it as unit. Then uh, I will also save the form. Yeah, I'm going to save that as calculator. Click on save there. Okay, let's try it out before we continue so let's just click on run there we go there that's button seven all right seven is fine so close that I'm now gonna copy these lines of codes now open up my form click on design double click on eight there we go change that to eight I want to do the same thing for number nine paste and change that to nine nine here and here number ten oh no number four so we have four here and four right here five paste six six and six here as well back to design double click on the one paste for one and change that to one now number two double click on button number two paste and change that to two Button number three, paste, change that to three, three and three, and button zero, double click on zero, paste, and change that to zero as well. And that's all there is for all the numeric buttons taken care of. All right, let's take care of the backspace, double click on backspace. With the backspace, I'm going to say if that txt result, let's say txt result equals copy whatever we have in here, which is whatever we have inside the txt itself. Let's try this so that you guys can see what I'm up to. All right, and I'm going to say comma one. Comma one, comma length of whatever data we have inside the text box itself. Then open up, close the brackets. Okay, that is whatever we have in here. We're gonna minus that, subtract by one, and close that. And the statement. So if I run it now, there. So whatever I enter in there, I can then backspace. But the problem is my default zero is gone. So in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an if statement. If is empty, let's come right down here. I've already copied that paste. If that is empty, then change whatever value we have in there. So if it's empty, change whatever value we have to that so that takes care of that but we do need a semicolon here okay that is fine so let's try that out again and see how that's gonna work there we go now backspace there default back to zero so let's take care of the plus minus now let's take care of the clear first double click on declare entry with declare entry, I'm going to declare two local variable. So let's say variable f, comma, and s. And these two variables are string. Let's 
just end that just enter string there there and now let's come right down here if you guys can still recall the two variables that i declare here one and two i'm going to grab those two variables because i intend to use them anyway so come right down here so f f is going to be f equals that and let's enter semicolon and else equals that there we go get rid of this now let's grab hold of that and just paste the text box itself is zero at this time so whatever we have in here is right whatever we have inside is your text box is stored in here for the first entry the second entry is also stored in here okay now all we then need to do is to delete whichever we want to delete so to do that we just clear it clear and repeat the same thing for this one clear the variables and that's it that should take care of that so you're not going to see it work for now until I finish up with the arithmetic operators so let's go back to the design here double click on the clear in the case of clear just grab this paste it right here that takes care of clear now let's take care of the plus minus double click on plus minus with the plus minus I'm going to create a variable here so let's say variable and I'll just call that P minus and this P minus is going to be real real is actually a float number so I'm going to grab P minus come right down here right underneath begin and I'll just say P minus equals convert that to string convert string to convert string to floats and that is how we do the convert in this program right grab that and what we're converting is right in here inside the txt result and close that there we go now that is converted we now need to replace everything back into txt results so txt results equals float to string and what are we floating to string that is going to be minus one multiply that by p minus so when you if you have a value in there you say if you say nine multiplied by by minus one that will end up giving you minus nine so that is that is it so that's whatever we have in, inside p minus we multiply that by minus one and that will give you a negative value and that's it now that that is taken care of let's go back to our design uh, maybe we should run this anyway before we take care of the operators there we go if we say 85 there minus because it's minus 1 multiplied by 85 that gives you minus 85 so that is fine now let's take care of, of the operators double click on the arithmetic operator there I'm going to end up and say num1 equals whatever value we have in here there so and the operator that we're working with equals the plus sign there that's the operator we're working with in that case whatever value we have inside the text box we want it cleared there that takes care of the plus sign so grab that go back in here double click on the subtraction paste that in there and change the operator to subtraction now repeat the same thing for the multiplication paste and that become multiplication now 
one more division double click change that to division there we go and all of the operators are taken care of now let's take care of let's take care of this decimal place okay let's use an if statement to take care of this decimal place i'm going to say if open a bracket position if position open the brackets if that is decimal comma then we want the text box if whatever we have inside the text box is a decimal then and if it's not equals to zero then what we want the system to do is to exit else we want the txt result column equals txt result plus whatever we have inside btn decimal dot caption there we go and that's all so let's see why do we have this funny error here all right we just need to close this let's close that very bracket there and that takes care of the error that is it that is for the decimal place so i'm going to just click on save try that out there we go i think we need to get this thing centered and decimal that is fine let's try the decimal again yeah that's fine it's working fine okay let's open up this form come in here select the form let's scroll right down to the properties of this very form i want to change the back color and get it centered as well uh let's come i think the property is position something like that there we go click on that drop it down let's select po screen center and what about the color let's change the color as well the back color just to make it look different color where's color that's it right there this one is like baby face something so i'm gonna go for that okay that looks fine right now let's take care of equals now right here the first place the second noun enter the second number there the second number equals whatever we have inside the text box now using an if statement if operate equals plus sign then oh there's no there is no semicolon there or column then we now want the result result equals that should be first number equals we need to actually convert the old lot so let's say float to string open up a bracket and we also need to convert it string to floats that's for the num one number one so we convert it number one is a string character so we're converting it to float the whole result is then converted to to float so i'm going to copy this that's for the first one the plus two that is the second one close that and we need to change this to number two button number two no variable number two okay so that should take care of that we now need to grab the results whatever we have inside result we need to store it inside the text box equals result and that should take care of that all right 
now that that is taken care of let's take care of the minus so I'm going to copy that using it's going to be multiple if statement anyway that's minus multiplication and division that's it all done so this is subtract subtract multiply and multiply here division and that is the vision there and that's all there is to it so save that I think that is it all done so those are the lines of code for the equals and there let's run it now run there we go 5 multiply by 9 there minus 45 multiply by 2 minus 90 backspace let's say subtract 9 plus 12 plus 12.3 multiply by 7 there and that is how you create your own calculator in Delphi using Pascal programming language so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this nice tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel a lot of benefit if you're a member and just before I leave I'm gonna say thank you to Tiffany and Isaac for becoming a member of this channel thank you guys have a nice day